They're going to walk into my house and piss on my rug. They're tripping. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Straight up. And that's my hey, that's my channel. It, it's for me. They want to come by and check it out and stuff, which I hope they do. And you know, it, still, you know, hey, it, it's it's my pet. Don't come over here with all over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's what I do. I mean, it, it it depends on the comment. A lot of the times, if it's somebody that's got an argument and they, you know, they're laying it out somewhat peacefully, you know, and saying this is their problem with it, I'll leave the comment there. But if they come over and they just, you know, make some rude comment, block them and send them on their way and then it's not a problem anymore well you know it's it's nice that i'm also you know i went to college well six colleges but uh that i have a, a background in in human behavior because this is really scary stuff and and i know people get frightened so you know they they'll, they'll speak out of turn because they're afraid, afraid you know really frightened hmm. um so you know and i was like Okay, you know, this person's punitive, you know, this one's over coercive, this one's neglected deprivation. They they you can pretty much tell what's going on subconsciously right from the comment uh in their videos, which which makes the, the world banking equally scary because they got people like that too. And and they they can manipulate people and it's bullshit. Mm -hmm. uh, and and I don't buy into that nonsense. You know, I ain't gonna play God. Forget it. And I, you know what, if you trust a suit and boy, you're really in trouble. Uh, you know, and I've done videos on purpose, growing long nails and, and talking funky and everything else, just because it's a joke. You, people look at these people in suit and ties and all this other stuff, and they just buy into their garbage. You know? Yet, here, imagine this. You're, you're standing on a train tracks, and a train's coming right at you. Man, you don't care what that person looks like that pushes you out of the way. And... Yes. You think a suit is going to push you out of the way? Hmm. No, no, a suit's going to be the one that pulls out a camera and takes a picture of it happening and then sells it on eBay. There it is. All right, Scott, uh, Jim, do you got any questions? Or uh, No, I was going to ask you something there before, but you beat me to it. <laughs> Just uh, explaining the uh, the glacial thing you were talking about. Don't worry, I I'm good. All right. It's good stuff, Scott. I, I really appreciate you coming on, man. This is it's great. I'm definitely uh, going to be checking out your channel. Well, hey, I'm glad you had me on, man. And, and hey, right on for you guys because you were here a long time before I was. Yeah, I, well, I guess we've been around for a while, but uh, that, I don't know. I guess it, it's been a long journey. Um, one thing we're doing, Scott, with everybody that's been on the show this year, we're asking if they have any predictions for the next 12 months. Would you be interested? Oh boy, oh, you, you're gonna see some bad news. Um, just off this Gulf Coast thing, wow, it, it's it's opened up a whole new fault zone. Uh, you're you're gonna see more earthquakes, more volcanoes, more tsunamis, more hurricanes, more severe lightning storms, more planes getting uh, falling out of the sky for no reason. Uh, boats getting overturned because the shipping lanes are they're going to be disrupted. You're you're going to have more and more ripples. Uh, it's like the thing out of Duke University. You, you got all these ripples in the ocean from from the waves, and when they all gather up and hit each other at one time, they turn into road waves. And you're going to see more and more and more of that. It, and boy, you're going to see more and more ferries go down. You're, I mean, it, it's just going to get worse and worse. Uh, and with a magnetic field, too, uh, I mean, you're going to see some really bizarre things. Uh, I could see them start to evacuate the lower states here in the United States. Uh, I wish they would have already started, uh, starting right here uh, with California. Uh, I, I do not like what I'm seeing down there in San Diego right now. I do not like what I'm seeing uh, off the coast of Santa Monica. And remember, you got the La Brea Tar Pits right there on uh, Wilshire Boulevard. Uh, I do not like that little earthquake that happened outside uh, the San Francisco Zoo this morning. Uh, this weight of this ocean so dang heavy. Uh, man, it, it, it's going to go. Uh, how bad? I don't know. It, you know, I, I don't have the numbers. Uh, uh, common sense is what I'm going on. Uh, everything, every number that I have been able to grab, I've grabbed. Uh, every PDF file, everything. So... You know, using uh, just common sense of what I'm seeing, it's it's going to get worse. It's not going to get better. 
Wow, that's <laughs> very apocalyptic. <laughs> I, but you know what? I totally agree with you 100%. And it's just something, one thing you said that really clued me in was uh, when you said the planes were going to fall out of the sky because that's something that, I don't know, it's been in the back of my head since I was a little kid that someday planes are just going to start dropping out of the sky. It's inevitable. Uh, you know, I can't, uh, like I say, if I had all the numbers, I don't know how far along we've progressed already. Uh, so, and I don't know, it's all these legal things they've covered up and stuff. Uh, and I don't want to take guesswork on this because, you know, this is, this is serious stuff. Uh, you just can't come off the wall and just say whatever you want to say. You got to back it. Uh, and so, you know, I, I just give you my best guess on that stuff. But if it's progressed as far as I think it is, you're just going to see it getting worse and worse and worse as these years go along. Uh, it, it's not going to get better. So you might as well just go ahead and start moving the people out of those zones that are going to get hurt the worst. And those are islands and uh, the areas around the equator. Uh, start preparing for uh, volcanoes. Start preparing for uh, hardcore lightning and wildfires uh, start preparing for for uh, the shipping lanes to go down for periods of time uh, for safety and and they're gonna they're gonna stop drilling off offshore uh, <laughs> and I just pray I pray we do not get another Chernobyl incident because you've got a very old nuclear facility sitting right on the coast of San Diego and God there must be 40 years of spent fuel rods and that thing. And, oh, wow. and, and if, if San Andreas goes, and it looks like the, the South Fork is really active right now. Uh, and she's 100 years overdue. North Fork and South Fork right there. Man, that is not a good area to have a nuclear facility. These, these rich just don't care. They just don't care. Well, that's very true. All right, Scott. Well, I want to thank you for coming on and giving us your information. Uh, can you give out your YouTube channel? Sure. It's uh, Believers Underground. Uh, I also have a backup channel. It's uh, Global Truth Network One. So they they that one's more uh, money oriented, and uh, the Underground is everything. Everything. Uh, people would ask for you know, hey, can you do one on EMP? Because they, they set up EMP devices all over Cal or United States just for that <laughs> unpredictable lightning storms uh i can't find that pdf for nothing either it just makes me so mad because someone that wanted to do a video on it and i know i got this stuff yeah <laughs> I, I can't find it i got like 40 memory cards and stuff here because i got kids man <laughs> yeah these things are everywhere Anyhow, but uh, yeah there's believers underground uh, and i love you guys and everyone in the truth movement and god bless you and uh, god bless you guys and that's it, man. All right. Thanks a lot, Scott. Yeah, thanks. Cool.